welcome each and every one of you back into Morning Moments with Jesus today. As we approach the throne room of the Lord today and our devotion time together, I want to talk to you this morning about praying and specifically the right way to pray, which biblically is with authority. In every conflict, someone always emerges in control. It doesn't matter what's going on, if there's any ever any conflict or any affliction or any kind of temptation or any kind of turmoil in your life, uh, at some point, one or the other emerges in control. And what we fail to understand sometimes is that God's people go into every conflict already in control. I want you to really hold on to that today because maybe in your life or in your workforce or or just in general, you face conflict sometimes. You you may be in the middle of a conflict right now, and maybe the Lord's speaking to you on this subject. Someone always emerges in control of that situation. Someone usually dominates the conversation or dominates the temperament of the conflict. But what we need to understand is God's people go into every conflict already in control. The problem is, is that almost immediately we surrender control to the enemy why is that a lot of times it's because we do not understand authority and particularly the authority we have in Christ Jesus when we pray two things must be present at all times first we must always pray in the spirit and by this I mean the Holy Spirit And the second thing is, we must always pray and speak with authority. The following uh, little passage I want to give you this morning is from a booklet called God's Creative Power. It's by Charles Capp. And he said that the Lord spoke to him back in 1973, and he spoke these words into his spirit, very powerful. He said, if my people would believe my word then long prayers would not be necessary. Just speak, and the Word will bring it to pass. For prayer to be effective, my people must speak my Word by faith and with authority. They must rise up and have dominion over the power of evil by speaking the Word. My Word has not lost its power. My people have lost their ability to speak it with power and with authority. No word of mine is ever without power, says the Lord. It is only hindered when it is not spoken and spoken with power and authority. See, the authority of Jesus was spoken and and manifested itself in the gospel in Matthew chapter 7, verse 28 and 29. Listen to this. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, in other words, things that he had spoken. For he taught them as one having authority. Mark records in in chapter 1 in verse 27 that they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. You may be saying this morning, yeah, but that was Jesus. But let me tell you something this morning. Before you go into any conflict, before you go into any situation, I want you to know this out of Luke chapter 9 and verse number 1, and also Mark 13 and verse number 34. Listen to this. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure all diseases. What is he saying? Over every conflict, Jesus gave us power and authority. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey. Now listen. Who left his house and gave authority to his servants, to every person their work so today we approach the throne room of God and we pray with power and we pray with authority over our thoughts 
over our actions, over every sickness and every conflict. Lord, we cast down every imagination and everything that exalts itself against you and your word. We also bring every thought into captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. We claim your holy benefits that forgive us of our sin and heal us of our diseases. You have redeemed our lives from the ruin, O Lord. So teach us to speak from our hearts wellness and peace. May pleasant words be the medicine that brings health to our bones. In Jesus' name, there is healing. In Jesus' name, there is victory. And in Jesus' name, there is authority. Amen and amen. I pray this blesses your heart today as you go in to a situation perhaps maybe where there may be the chance of being any kind of conflict. Do not surrender your authority. Speak with boldness. Speak plain. Speak with love, but speak with truth. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Till then, you be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. You do your best to spend your morning moments with Jesus. And you have a great day.